NASA is going to develop land rovers for the for the uh, Artemis astronauts to drive on the moon. On top of that, Grunham was chosen to build a railroad infrastructure on the moon. And all of this is supposedly supposed to be quantified and finished by 2030. There's, a, there's more things that they're connecting with this, but I just think it's interesting that within the small little time frame, the next five or six years, they're anticipating all this transfer over to the moon. And I do think it's interesting that while Trump, I think, what was that, the 2017, uh, he decided to create that new military division called Space Force. And so it seems like all these things were preparatory, already put in place for them to already initialize a military infrastructure onto the moon. I mean, they're thinking about building a whole railroad system. And this is by DARPA. NASA picked three companies to build a lunar rover for these for this Artemis thing. And they were talking, they've been talking that they're going to bring the astronauts and people back to the moon by 2026, 2028, whatever. And then, of course, because they're going to do this, there isn't, they're not going to waste any resources. If they're going to go back to the moon with people, then they're going to do other things. So in, prepara- in preparation for all that, they're going to build a space. They're talking about building an Artemis lunar space station. I was just going to add, according to their website they say that the uh, envisioned lunar rail railroad network could transport human supplies and resources for commercial ventures across the lunar surface contributing to a space economy for the united states and international partners think about that though you know it's called the lunar 10 architecture by darpa and so the question is is what are they really planning they're talking about international economical commercial resources and transportation and then we talked about it before they said there's so much helium on the moon that that's worth trillions of dollars and of course china's talked about trying to get those helium resources back to earth and of course i'm sure america wants their part in hand in that so they're really anticipating that uh, they'll be able to have commercial infrastructure available to start mining i guess on the moon literally mining because what other reason do you have trains you have these trains because you're trying to move a whole bunch of stuff from one section to another section in anticipation i assume to load up these large spaceships with whatever material you've been harvesting and bringing it back to earth or unless you're just going to build a whole civilization on the moon itself 